Okay. Moving off the top of the net again, Yanan extending his lead one to three before he started his comeback against Lin Gao Yuan. One of the youngest players here, maybe the youngest player for the Chinese men. Right into the body, that's the way to do it. Just fast enough to force the jam up in the middle and the crossover point. Beautiful placement, testing wide on both corners. Love to see this serve and receive again. There it is from down wide and below the table, the forehand to the middle from Sean Quinn. It's a well-placed serve though from Yan An to get a relatively predictable ball. Oh, right off the bounce. Little off the top of the net, but a truly Just a flat hit the opposite way. Truly no, apology later. So much power, Yanan staying in control when he's got Sean Quinn playing that passively. The loop all day long, he'll just run around. I mean, Sean Quinn just isn't testing him with the wide shots yet or putting the pressure on in the counters that he was earlier in the match. There's some pressure. Lesson quickly learned. Sean Quinn looking for the opportunity. Come in with the first big attack. One game point saved. Four more to go for Yanan. And Yanan, 11 to six. Two games in a row, quite comfortable victories. 11 to seven and 11 to six. It's a three to one lead for Yanan. It's now or never time for Sean Quinn. Game five coming up right after this. Number five, three games to one at the top of the screen in blue, and it's Sean Quinn, the giant slayer, who's one game away from being slayed himself. Not so quick, though. Fast turn in the middle, the forehand attack to take the first point and start off game five right. Powerful as that first backhand is, Sean Quinn's right there ready for it. The faster it comes in, the less you need to do to bring it back. There's already enough speed on the ball, just a short stroke. It's timed just right by Sean Quinn. Placed in the middle again. Yanan taking his first point this game. Two all. Three, 
It's been a while since we've seen an outright service point for Sean Quinn. In his match against Lin Ga Yuan, he had a few long, risky, gutsy serves. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few of those come out here. Well played right into the middle. Again, when the ball sits up, as your opponent's backing up, and play it right into their body. Although it is much tougher for a player to move side to side while they are backing off the table. That's Yanan backing up at the point of contact when he realizes the ball will be into the body to try to buy a little more time to get into position. Bit of side spin in the back edge of the table. Sean Quinn taking a five to two lead. Beautiful shot, power from Yan An. Again, the most powerful and play throughout his career is here at this tournament. Beautiful heavy push, but Sean Quinn has no problem loading it up and lifting. This is one reason I think we don't see too many Chinese players getting beaten by choppers. They're so comfortable to really use their weight and still drive through the ball so it's not a slow, spinny ball. Quadri Aruna versus Ruin Filus. As strong as the forehand is of Quadri Aruna, it still wasn't quite the same against chops as we see from the top Chinese players. Four, six. That being said, Ju Se-hyuk beat Ma Lin in 2003 at the World Championships. So when contacting the table, Sean Quinn shows his racket to the umpire to make sure that it's okay to play with. Rubber is not cracked or damaged. Four, six. Left, four, six. Five. Now we've got the timeout for Sean Quinn. The fact that I had to go to, I just happened to talk to Ju Se. Times that a defender has beaten one of the top four, one of the big four from China. Have to look into that later, but something fun to think about for sure. A little bit of table tennis trivia for you. The men's side of the game, I guess you don't see many choppers outside of the Chinese Super League. You got a few of them there, Mata. But the women's side of the game, Wu Yang, actually was hoping to see at this tournament. Very close to the top four for the Chinese women, but we still don't see her representing the country quite as often, despite having a nearly flawless record to foreign players, players from places other than China. Well, we'll see what Sean Quinn comes back with here. Early on in the match, his forehand was quite devastating from the middle of the table. Yanan just six. too strong, I think, if Sean Quinn is gonna step around too often and leave the table open. Wow, impressive footwork for Sean Quinn to get back. Again, he gets over to the forehand side of the table for the Chiquita and still makes it all the way back for the backhand punch. So a timeout followed by the second towel break of the game. Sean Quinn able to continue thinking about what it is that got him the last point, what strategy, what tactics he can use out here to take the match. Seven, With a sneaky receive like that, it's going to be tough, though. Yanan playing the line aggressively.
Yon on into the fishing game, don't see that too often. Impressive retrieve though on the first ball right into the body. Quick shout out to Davey of ITTF saying thank you because he told me that Ju Se Hyuk beat Jong Ji 4-0 at the Hungarian Open in 2012. I think I remember watching that just recently. And someone said Jong Ji was a little bit under the weather, possibly a little bit injured. Although that has been pretty much the case for the past four or five years, it seems. Also, when you've got a diehard fan, sometimes they'll protect their image of their superstar. Inside out forehand, Yanan trying to keep it close here and doing just that, crawling back in. An intense moment here. That almost looked like the World Tour logo. The girl with the snow cap was making the W there with her hands on her face. which some might say was inspired by the Ma Long look in the Olympic teams event. After he won, he turned around, shrugged his shoulders and put his hands out, making a W with his upper body. Nine, eight. Tension builds, it's getting tight. Sean Quinn with just a one point lead here. It's okay to be disappointed, but to move on and get into the next point, very important here. As strong as that is, Yan An has to take one more shot, manages to get around the ball from the middle of the table to tie it up. Another Chuli commits fully to the forehand side, follows up with the forehand. So first he's got the backhand over the forehand side, then a forehand from the middle. This is how physically demanding the game has become. China always innovating, looking for new ways to improve their athletes. That modern received the banana flip. One of the greatest inventions we see. Additions to the game. Short side of the table, enough pressure. Sean Quinn earns a game point. Close is not enough. 11-9 is still a victory for Sean Quinn. At the same time, losing a deuce to like 10-12 going to be the match. Just missing the back edge. Yan An right, Yan An rather, right at the edges to keep the pressure on on Sean Quinn and tie it up. Push goes wide, Sean Quinn back in the driver's seat with another game point to continue the match. I don't have a strong preference for who wins, but I would like to see the match continue and go the distance. Well played into the backhand side, but Sean Quinn quick to turn the corner, gets the forehand into the short side. And yep, you've got to nod your head and applaud for that. The match continues. Sean Quinn versus Yan on men's singles final. Game six coming up right after this. Players back for game number six. Sean Quinn in orange at the top of the screen. The real pressure here. 
Down two games to three, but he won the last one to stay alive. Yalnan was up 3-1, still has one game, just one game to take the title. Rather, he has only one game to go. If he needs to, he could win it in the seventh, which would be very pleasing for the crowd. Backhand, Yanon opens up. It looks like the point is over, but Sean Quinn is there. Again, he's everywhere. Can't put it past him. Spinny shot into the middle, well placed from the backhand. Sean Quinn very specific with every shot right now. It's gotta be frustrating for Yanan to hit such a good shot, like the shot in the very first point of this game and not take the point. Two, one. Not sure what happened there if it caught the close edge of the table. Now we've seen the edge of the racket come down to the edge of the table, like Ding Ding against Lu Xiuun. What I want to see is a serve that hits the near edge of the table and comes down on the opponent's edge of the table for a winner, for an ace. Oh, and a break again. Two fortunate points for Yan An. Ties it up at two points each. Goliong's serve comes back quickly. And when the ball comes up like that from this camera angle, I'm watching and thinking, could it come down? But it was clear by the player's lack of movement that it wouldn't, or that it wasn't near the other end of the table. Beautiful shot, just too wide. Sean Quinn not able to get another step in. For me, the surprise placement after the flip of Sean Quinn. Yanan played it right back down the line. That's what earned the little hesitation. Surprised Sean Quinn, so he wasn't able to chase down the next forehand. Again, we've seen him, he's lightning fast. Softer spinning your shot, drops in front of Yan An. Sean Quinn back in the lead. Another softer spinny shot drops down in front, and this time Yan An trying with a scooping defensive shot. We've seen a few different things from Yan An, but we haven't seen too many of this ball right here. Center of the net. We've seen Ma Long do it, we've seen Ma Lin do it, we've seen Xu Xin do it recently. Backhand before he's even set, Sean Quinn just blowing off some steam here, ripping that backhand. Yanan warned to play, no delaying the game. Another lucky shot off the net and the racket comes loose. Sean Quinn trying. Didn't seem like he was intentionally throwing the racket. Once you let go of the racket, even if it hits the ball and makes it, it's not good, the racket has to be in the hand. Oh, that time it did look like he dropped it intentionally. Every once in a while, you'll see someone sort of toss their racket at the net when they realize the ball's out of reach. Beautiful change of mind, change of heart. Yanan Yang An looking to push the ball at first, then pulls back and gets a solid opening attack. Reverse pendulum earns the point. Sean Quinn back in a two-point lead. Now remember the context here. These are two players. Yanan has been given many opportunities throughout the years on the world tour. 
but still hasn't quite earned his position to be in the top four. For a little bit, it felt like he might be. But just outside, Sean Quinn, on the other hand, has beaten two of the most dominant players, the two most dominant players on the planet, and is looking for his chance to play at the World Championships this year in Dusseldorf. By the way, if you're looking to be at the World Championships, which you should be if you're watching this, make sure you get your tickets very soon because I've heard it's sold out for many days already. I don't know how much is left, but you definitely want to be there. Hey, Karamba, the short side of the table, Jan on after all that drama. At this point, had my hands in the air from early on, jaw-dropping rally. Jan on can't believe he finished the point with that. Look at this leg sweep, a jumping back end, and finally the inside out forehand to the short side of the table. That's not number one in the top 10. I don't know what will be. <laughs> Trying to see what was asked for just now. Sean Quinn talking to the head umpire for a moment. Oh, I see the court. The tape is coming up a little bit. Anything that interferes with the player's ability to race around and chase the fix so that they can play the top possible. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there you see it. His right foot on the tape. It would have been really difficult to get to anyway, but that clearly interfered with his ability to move. The fact that his ankle is still intact is a really important thing. Very fortunate, too. Big loop from off the table, and Yanan back in the lead. Wow, top of the net comes back for top of the net. Sean Quinn tries to play it more cautiously. Seemed like a wise decision. It was a very difficult ball left out in front. From this angle, you have a chance to see the depth on the table a little bit more. Really shallow. A bit of fortune for Jan An to take a two-point lead in game six. It's crunch time now. Almost with the cross court, but Chong Quinn can't put it down, and Yan An has three championship points. <laughs> Opening flip, but the next shot goes long, and one championship point saved at the third towel break. Sean Quinn still has two to go. Yanan calling the timeout. Smart play, it's late in the match. Again, you see timeouts later in the match when there's no third party, no coach in the corner to call it for the players. He's trying to think about what has been most successful for Yanan. That point at about 6-7, I believe, was simply incredible. And he's had some big inside out forehands from the backhand corner, from the middle of the table, just a step or two behind. He's been effective with that forehand loop. Sean Quinn again left-handed. So everything's a little bit different than Yanan is used to. It's funny, I personally like to serve deep into the backhand here and there to left-handed players. At this level of play, though, if you know that a half-long serve to the forehand is likely to earn you a comfortable flip that you can counter, might be a safer way to go. Two championship points left for Yanan. Sean Quinn with the serve. And there it is, a Julian celebration. Yanan, number one, there it is. And what a performance. Saw him playing yesterday and couldn't imagine who would beat him.
A nice bit of embrace there. Not so common in table tennis to see, but maybe Yan An and Sean Quinn, the friends, starting a little trend here. Incredible performance by Yan An. And the once world ranked number seven is going to be back in the world rankings after this tournament because he has taken the first title on the world tour for 2017 and done it in fashion. Congratulations to Yan An. And an outstanding performance from Sean Quinn throughout. Thank you both for giving us an incredible show here at the Hungarian Open. Stick around, we've got the awards ceremony coming up in just a bit. So you can see all your favorite players. In their shining glory. Here's the recap of the scores, and we'll see you in a few minutes.